Hello everyone, this is Doug again. Um, I wanted to show you a couple uh, small items uh, my family and I really like to do. Um, usually at night and stuff like that, uh, the kids, we like to go to the woods. You know, it's only you know, a few hundred feet from my house. And uh, one of the big things we like to do at night when it's a little bit dark is, in a, in a way, it, it's like all it is hide and seek. Um, the first thing is, is that when we do it, uh, um, with the temperatures 100, 102 degrees out every day, and it's been like that for a few weeks, is first we got to find, you know, hide and seek. Get the, you have to find somebody. You have to visually see them, hear them. You have to pay attention. It's more of a game than anything. Uh, it may seem childish to some, but it's great activity. It keeps them moving physically. It keeps me moving. Um, but we have to pay attention to a lot of things to find the other team. We break, you know, with all the kids and all, we break up into teams, two-man teams. And, uh, you know, that way they keep each other company and stuff. Going into the woods, they learn a lot. You know, they have to deal with the temperature. And plus, by my house, there's a river. So, of course, there's going to be mosquitoes. And then they got to put on bug spray. But, you know, they got to get used to the elements. And, you know, some of the projects and some of the things we do, we do a lot of outside activities, hiding around a house and all that. You know, some of the things we take with us is uh, we got middle and walkie-talkies. Um, I got a little whistle. It's supposed to have a string on it. I think it just came off. It has a compass. Right. Open it up. It's got some wooden matches and stuff in it. If I ever needed them, um, his old flint thing. You're supposed to, you know, be able to. Cost about three dollars. It ain't. I wouldn't use this to try to start a fire. But one thing that's good about this is that it also has a whistle. It's orange, big. You know, get a whistle. Like I said, you've got the walkie-talkie. Um, another thing we don't like a small jackknife. Nothing expensive. Or anything. Remember, with kids and stuff like that, kids ain't, my kids ain't allowed to have them on them unless we're backpacking, and then it's only their backpack. You know, something, you know, it's only a dollar. This is my son Micah's. You know, it's pretty sharp. It only costs it a dollar, like at Walmart. Nothing, nothing big. You know, and another thing we take out there and helps us, you know, some of the training is the flashlights. Um, these are the windy up ones you. They don't take any batteries, you just kind of wind it up, you know, for a minute or so, and then you can just, you know, kind of, you know, get it, you know, used to it, and, it, you know, it doesn't cost batteries, and it's real cheap. If you lose it, you know, it, it's fine. Uh, we take these out to the woods and practice, and uh, you get them used to moving around and doing things, is because if we're going to go into the SHTF scenario and stuff, they have to be able to listen see, you know, and things like that, you know, they have to pay attention a lot more, and playing hide and seek out in the woods, they, they're they a little bit more attentive, you know, we have fun just doing it anyway, not everything is about SHTF and that, but you know, it's small items that are free, I, you know, this is only like a buck, doesn't require any batteries, we've had this flashlight for about three years now, if you, like three years at Christmas. Walkie-talkies in case anybody gets lost and they shouldn't get lost. You know, the whistle itself, if they do get lost and they shunt, all they got to do is stay in their place and blow a whistle. You know, cheap things like this, it keeps the family active. Um, you know, you don't have to, you know, go out there and spend, you know, tons of money getting all, you know, a lot of this high-tech gear and all that, you know. Like I said, we go down by the river and, you know, and we hide on each other and stuff like that, and uh, we try to find each other. And the idea is we would kind of do the same thing if we were doing a reconnaissance, you know, recon, if, you know, an SHTF scenario or something like that. We're, we're a little bit more observant. We have to pay attention a lot more. You know, this is just, you know, a little bit of fun and all that. I just kind of wanted to share, you know, what I do with my child, you know, my kids and my children and stuff like that. So, you know, um, you know, just God bless. Take care.